Hey everyone, and welcome to part 5 of the Tamiya TC01 Formula E online build. In this video, we'll be wrapping up the car itself with the suspension, anti-roll bars, shocks, battery tray, and wheel and tire installation. So without further ado, let's start by opening the D-Bag. Carefully pop the suspension balls into the upper arms and make sure that they move freely. Build a pair of rocker arm links. These are what you will use in the future to adjust the car's ride height. While it doesn't tell you to do this in the manual, it's a good idea to measure both links to make sure they have the same length. The upper arms. Wow. At this step in the video, I popped them on with the intention of going forward with the build, but soon found that trying to manage both the floppy upper and lower arms, as well as the dog bone, steering blocks, axles, bearings, and other attachment hardware, well, it didn't end well. Continue with building the front steering knuckles, but leave the upper front arms off for now. We'll get back to them shortly with a better assembly process. Make sure you seat the bearings all the way into the steering knuckles. Per the manual, cut a red urethane bushing and insert each half into the axle as shown. A little bit of black grease will help keep the bushings in place. Okay, time for an assembly manual redo. After struggling with the front install, I decided to find an easier way to assemble the rear suspension system. If you've already installed the upper rear arms, start by removing them. Next, insert the dog bone, then set the rear knuckle in place, attaching it with the M3 by 12 mm screw through the bottom suspension arm. Insert the kingpin bushings, through the upper arm, followed by the top M3 by 12 mm screw, and attach it to the top of the knuckle. An even easier method would be to attach the knuckle, then insert the dog bone, but either way is much better than the manual suggested method.
follow the same procedure for the other side of the car. Now that we've shown you the easy way to do it, let's get back to the front end to show you how not to do it. Unless you just want to watch for parts placement, you can skip to the 8 minute 13 second timestamp for the next step in the assembly. After installing the outside bearing, use one of the body clips through the axle to help keep it in place. Time for the shocks. For the initial build, I'm going to be using the pistons, springs, and shock fluid that came in the kit. We'll tweak these once we've had a few runs on the track. I like to slip the shaft through the shock body first, then build a lower cartridge around that. This ensures a smoother build with no chance of the O-rings getting damaged. The manual doesn't designate an overall length of the shocks, but it's a good idea to measure just to make sure they are equal. There are many ways to do this, I chose to measure the overall external shaft length available. 
Fill the shock with fluid, then plunge the shaft a few times to release any air bubbles from under the piston. Set the shock aside to allow all the air bubbles to float to the top. Once all the air bubbles are gone, fill the shock up to just under the top and slowly roll the bladder in place, displacing any extra oil. Wrapping the shock in a work towel will help prevent any spillage. Follow the same procedure for the other three shocks. I gave the shocks another quick measurement to confirm the length. Ah, nice and smooth. Installing the foam pads for the battery is totally optional. After doing so, I found that my battery was too snug to easily insert or remove, so I ended up pulling all of these off the car. We didn't install the bearing spacers yet, so go ahead and do that now.
And that wraps up part five of the Tamiya TC01 Formula E build. The car is done, looking great, and ready to tear up the track. Thanks everyone for watching, and if this video helped you out, please give it a like.